Hello, all. Catherine here, checking in. Yes, in my hotel room. Last morning, going to get a bus. Less than an hour, headed up to Seoul, to the Seoul train. Get out of this joint. Make like trees and leaving. Bum bum. Yep, happening. Getting on out of here. Heading home to the U.S. of a greatest country. Well, need a little work, but greatest country ever. Anyway, here with a tip. I'm here with a tip on how to pack your bag when you're traveling. Or specifically, when you're going somewhere cool that you've never been before, that you're probably going to get stuff to take home with you, how to pack your bag. What you want to do is get your biggest suitcase, like, within reason, of course. And you're going to want to only pack it halfway full. Yes, you heard me correctly. Half or less, actually. Then, when you get to your location that's cool, like Korea, like me, or, well, it could have been a lot cooler. Them northerners, and then the southerners, and then there's bullets, and, you know, stuck on base, and you've heard it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. But, so, you have your bag half full once you get to your location. Then, when you buy a whole load of stuff, like I did this time, you can use that whole empty half of your suitcase to put stuff in. And then, on top of that, what you do is you use all your clothes, like all of them, and you wrap them around. You put everything in a plastic bag if it's, if it's liquid. In a plastic bag. And then you can use your clothes to wrap around and insulate them from the crazy luggage handlers that will be transporting your goods, i.e. your suitcase. So I will show you my suitcase. I finally just got it closed and I ain't about to open that thing back up because who knows if I get it back closed. So I'm certainly not giving you a view of what I put in there. Although, I will videotape the unboxing of so many cool items. Went a little overboard, but, you know, when you're in cool places, like, you know, you should always allot some sort of money to get something cool. Because, by cool, I mean, like, you see something that you're probably never going to see again, and you really like it, you should probably get it. And if you don't have money to a lot to do anything cool, you're probably not anywhere cool to begin with. So I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to those people that save their pennies so that they can actually enjoy themselves. Because what's the point of going on vacation if you're broke and can't do anything? You should save more before you go on vacation. Anyway, point is... Pack your bag half full so you can fill it all the way up. This is my bag. It's a military bag. It's like, if you see my arm, that is how, yeah, it's really, it's a pretty large bag. And then, of course, there's got a backpack too, which is right now only like half full. That darn light. It's only half full because. I still have a day in Seoul. Who knows what I'll get there. And I'm going to need a place to put it. Thinking ahead, people. Thinking ahead. Making a plan. Taking some action. Because mood follows action. Doesn't always have to be physical fitness that makes your mood better. It can be making a plan. Mood follows action. Take action. Change your mood. Be happier. Be healthier. Be awesome. Yeah. I will see you 
in the United States of America. Merka!